going on everybody so i was watching one of my favorite favorite channels on youtube sean bradley and sean bradley posed a question so i'm gonna respond in my own response should you provide receipts on youtube for other youtubers for example if i say i'm a medical doctor should i pull up a medical doctor license and show y'all my license just to prove who i am no i i say no first of all it's none of your damn business none of your damn business none of my personal business is none of your damn business and as sean said i'm only going to tell you what i want you to know i'm not going to tell you my whole life story why would I invite you in? See, people don't realize when you oh, when you invite people, you invite people in by giving them too much information. And then you have these people, um, kids and, and grown ass adults online talking about they killing themselves. They, you know, you got people in their comments. Oh, just hang yourself. And you had the girl, one little girl online. I watched her video online. She was getting she was getting uh, going through some abuse at her home. And she hung herself. People in her comments was telling her, "Go hang yourself." And you and and you could see in the comments they were telling her, "Hang herself." She hung herself. This was a few years ago. You can Google it. Girl hangs herself on YouTube. It's the video starts still out there. And that's because people open up doors by giving too much information. Motherfuckers look for people weak. They look for an open door to come in, so they can start. Finding your weakness and pressuring you, pressuring you, pounding on you, just so you can what? Turn around, be abused, and you'll end up, you'll end up hurt and could possibly be suicidal, be suicidal. So you don't open up those doors. You don't, I don't need to tell you, I don't work here, but I don't need to tell you I work at Dairy Queen. I have your interest, Pete. You're going to want to know what Dairy Queen I worked work at. You are going to want to explore that if you are a type of person that is nosy. And you don't know who's who's the, the one that wants to explore. It could be a serial killer. You don't tell everybody your business. I don't have to provide receipts on YouTube about my personal business. I'm not going to do that. You have people that do let you in their personal business. People that tell you how much money they made on YouTube. And to me... It's okay to do that for people like me that's new to YouTube that would like to make money on YouTube. I'm, you know, but I, that wasn't my, that's not my goal. My goal, what, well, when I started, it wasn't my goal. So, no, I can't say no. Shit, ain't money. I want some money too. <laughs> but it wasn't my goal when I started. So, this one girl I was looking at telling people, she was showing people the paper of her, her, her check, her Google check or whatever they get and it didn't feel comfortable to me i didn't feel comfortable with that first of all you don't have to show them just tell them just tell them um but i say it's it's not good to show people too much of your personal business now as far as like when tasha k did the story on star marie and star marie said she knew and lived with cardi b cardi b came out and said i don't even know you like she said she didn't even know the girl star marie I was definitely, since this person is saying one thing and this person saying a whole nother thing, I was waiting for the truth. So in that case, I was looking for something, some kind of receipt. But that's because they are the two totally different situations. They're not regular YouTubers. Cardi B is a, she has five nominations for Grammys. She is popping. She, she was on Love & Hip Hop. So... She's not just a regular YouTuber. For her to say she don't know this person, that's a regular, regular, you know, coming up, up and coming naturalist person. Says so she don't know her. I was looking for receipts for that. But as a regular YouTuber, you don't need to tell all of your business and let people in your heart, in your life. Because they, if you let them in, you might not make it out. People can really be hurtful. They can really be abusive. People will start saying things just because it's some people behind the screen, behind that, behind their keyboard or their phone that like to hurt people, that look for people that's weak. 
that they can hurt. You get them all the time. Trolls with no pictures. Some people, some people with no pictures, I don't think are trolls. I have very supportive people that doesn't have pictures. But there are some that, let's say, do and don't have pictures that come on your comments. Oh, you look at you, look at you with the white background. You, 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 you know they say call you names and find things, find ways to hurt you, trying to find ways to hurt you. But if you allow too much of your information out, providing too much information, you give them that. You give them the axe to chop your neck off. Like, you give them the door. You open the door for them to come in. So, no, I don't think it's necessary. I think, as a person, I, I go by what you say. Is it how I think? I go by... Do I feel you out? Do I feel like you dis are you disrespectful? Are you that evil type person I don't like? Or do, or do you keep it real? Do is there love in your heart? That's what I go by. And rather you are rich, broke, whatever, or indifferent. If I connect with you, that's who I'm connecting with. I'm personally not digging for the information too much. I don't want to know where you work. I don't want nobody to know where I work. I need my job. But the answer is, because I don't want to be boring, in my opinion, it's not necessary to provide receipts. Because I'm not a nosy type person. So I don't think like a nosy type person. I think people that want more information about somebody on YouTube is nosy. You're wanting to know because you just... That type of person that want to talk about people, want to sit back and judge people. You're criticizing. You want the bad and the dirt on somebody. You're not. You don't care about like what I care about is the content of the character, as Martin Luther King said. I care about the the content um, of that of your character. What do I feel when I watch your videos? Do they uplift my soul, my spirit? Do they make me feel? Like I want to tune and draw in. Do they make me. Do I feel criticized? Do I feel shamed? I don't want that. But. I don't really care. I'm not. What I'm trying to say is. I don't really look for. All your shit. Like I don't care. Where you work. If you a doctor. Great. Provide us some good information. But. I can tell that. If you. If you a doctor. By what. Why. What you provide. What you say. Now if you got the top health tips out here and then I'm gonna take the tips but anyway I don't really I don't think I don't think that it's necessary to dig into people I don't think it's necessary think you're nosy and you need to sit your ass down and stop being all in the motherfucking mix too concerned about somebody you don't even know you don't even know we're strangers we don't even know why we all over the fucking world we don't know each other the answer is no, in my opinion. You do not need to provide receipts on YouTube. It's not necessary. And you don't you don't you shouldn't be putting all your business out there. You're giving somebody a rope to hang you. You're giving them a bullet to shoot you. You're giving them a sharpener to sharpen that damn knife and poke you. So you don't want to give too much of your business. You don't want to be so naive. That you are out there telling all of your personal information for somebody to come to your job, snatch you up, or get into your ear and make you want to jump off a bridge. Everybody ain't, Everybody's not strong-minded. But the answer, I don't want to get off subject, is no. I don't have to. I don't have to prove anything. This is a white wall behind me. There's nothing to show you where I am, who I am, nothing. Um... I don't want you to know. I don't want. I'm not putting my address nowhere around this this camera. I don't want you to know. I'm very cautious. I make videos because it's fun. Because I have something to say. And and once upon a time, I I didn't really care about subscribers. I didn't care about you know none of that. I just made videos because I needed to talk. I needed to vent. I needed to get this out. Seeing this happen and. And nobody, nobody corrected that. So I want to say something about it. Now, I got to remind myself that I, that's why I made the videos. Because sometimes I do get caught up in 
how many subscribers I got when it ain't what I started out doing. It's not what I started out doing. I'm thanking you for subscribing to me, but I'm not purposely out here trying to get you to do that. You know what? You don't have to provide anything. You're not a lawyer. You're not fighting my case. You're not defending. You're, you're not a prosecutor. You're not prosecuting me. I'm on YouTube. It's not serious. It's not. So the, that's my answer, and I hope it wasn't boring. Um, Y'all, have a good day, and be blessed.